Hey everybody, Scarlet Leak here. Welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy XII, The Zodiac Age. In the last episode, we arrived here at the Henny Mines and got through pretty much all of it, and at the end of our long journey through the mines, we actually ran into Mirren, but something seemed off about her, and she went off into that direction. In this episode, we're going to be checking that out. Now, first things first, I'm going to get our usual lineup here of Bon, Bosch, and Ash. I'm pretty sure you can take a guess as to why I'm doing that. And without further ado, let's proceed. Proceed forward. Oh boy, here we go. Boy, we got ourselves a meaty fellow, meat, the Tiamat, or Tiamat. This thing is more of a giant meat shield than anything. It's not a hard fight at all, really. This isn't a fight you're gonna have trouble with. It's very defensive though, so that's one thing to be aware of when going against it. Uh, one thing I want to do is I want to steal you. Oh, I want to steal you, but I want to steal from you just to see what I can get. High potion, okay. So yeah, Tiamat, there's not really too much to really do about it. Just kind of do what you gotta do. It's just the usual fare. I'm gonna keep on wailing on it for a little bit, because I'm not sure if it has like a uh, big old special attack that it likes to do. It might have one. Arrow, that's not, it's just regular old magic. Brute magic though, so it can kind of hurt a little bit. Not Nothing too crazy to worry about though. Yeah, TMA ain't nothing to write home about. It's cool looking though. Very cool looking boss. I like that skill ring it's got around its neck. Very cool looking. Very cool looking. I'm gonna say I'm gonna get to half health before I start chucking quickenings at this man. Cause I don't know, again, I don't know if it has anything. Cause if I do quickenings too early on boss fights, what ends up happening is that they have certain thresholds, health thresholds, where they actually just straight up uh, do their uh, their special move. And some of the times they wait until the very end to do it, so I think now might be a good time. To uh, go ahead and perform the quickening. Just kill a bunch of jellies last time. We're gonna use it to kill you, buddy. Yeah, we're gonna get the white whirl. The whirl. Joel? No. We're gonna get the white whirl off of you. Then we're gonna get the heaven's wrath. Yeah, you punch that Tiamat in the face, boss, and create a black hole. Quite the scary thing with that. Another ruin intended. Look at us. Look at how strong we've become. We've become so powerful that Tiamat don't scare us. No, sir, we ain't scared of the Tiamat. Tiamat is scared of us. Ah, shit. I missed the freaking mischarge. Oh, well. This at least might chop off a little bit. At least they were all level 2 quickening, so it might hurt. Oh, a wind burst. We, we may have something here. Ooh, that did quite a bit. Look at us. Uh... Bod Scott. Ouch. Ooh, no. Snap. Lars has got Petrify on him. That's good. I'm gonna try to finish this. I don't think we're gonna finish this fight uh, beforehand. Oh, double Kira on the scene. I think this might be our first instance of having Sap on somebody. I'm not sure. 
Larsa, you can use one of the gold needles on yourself. You've earned it, good pal. Just gotta kill this thing. Slowly but surely. I'll die. I think its defense also got stronger because of that. So now it really is just a slog. It's not really doing too much. It's just jamming its head up there. Kind of turning around to smack Larsa a bit, but Larsa ain't having none of that. Freaking parried the crap out of this thing. I got a good view of its butt. I'm sure that's something to be proud of. Or at least doing decent damage off of it. Oh, dude, if Bosch's axe does do too hot, dude, that it's gonna be pitiful. Pitiful damage there, ladies and gentlemen. We're getting it. Yeah, as I mentioned before, this boss is just really just an HP sponge. Nothing to worry about. It can petrify ya, it can burn ya. So if, you, if it casted oil, that breath move it used actually could have been quite devastating, but, uh... As far as I'm aware, it doesn't. Well, we're about to finish this fight, so bam. I don't think I mentioned this before, but cool animations, bro. Cool animations. I think maybe I have mentioned it, but it's been a while. It's been a hot minute since I mentioned animations. Boss Shane having none of that. He's pouting. <laughs> Insider, what was it? Is it you? When the Hume soldiers came to the wood, the village took small heed of them. So long as the wood herself is safe from harm, the Viera give little care to goings on beyond her. But in me, an uneasiness stirred. I had to discover why they had come. So you came here hoping to find something out and got yourself caught. You're as foolhardy as your sister. They took me then and set close beside me a stone. They said its mist would be drawn into me, that the Viera well suited this end. I saw the light coming from the stone, and then... We have seen this. On Leviathan, the mist released from the Dawn Shard drove me too into such a rage. She was taken not by the Dawn Shard. Manufactured Nethocyte. Then that means... Penella, the stone I gave you, do you still carry it with you? Sure. It's right here. <laughs> this is a thing more dangerous again than I had imagined. I should never have given it to you. Forgive me, I, I didn't know. I'd always thought of it as sort of a good luck charm. And even if it is dangerous, on Leviathan it kept us safe. There is a place for all things, even dangers such as this. I hope you
hope you're right about that. I heard the woods whispers. Take it. Lente's tear is a permission. Pass through the wood and leave. Two other places go. That cannot be all. I saw it when I left the village. Ivalice is changing. How can the Viera stand and do nothing at all? Ivalice is for the Humes. The wood alone is for us. But that is wrong! How can we just hide here in the trees, when all the world outside is on the move? I too wish to live freely, to leave this wood. Do not do this. You must remain away from the Humes. Stay with the wood. Live together with the wood. This is your way. But Fran, my sister... I am no longer of you. I have discarded wood and village. I won my freedom. Yet my past has been cut away forever. No longer can my ears hear the green word. This solitude you want, Mieren? Sister. No, Mieren. Only one sister remains to you now. You must forget my existence. <laughs> I am sorry to make you do this. She goes against the laws of the wood. I threw down these laws. It is better that I do this. Better I than one who must uphold these laws herself. I have a request. Listen to the wood's voice for me. I fear... I fear she hates. The wood longs for you, for the child gone from under her boughs. A pleasant lie, that. Be cautious. The wood is jealous of the humes who have taken you. I am as them now. Am I not? Goodbye, sister. I don't know why people seem to forget that Final Fantasy XII has powerful scenes like that. Fran has been more of, for this point, of the, for, until this point in the game, she's just been kind of there. But she gets like a whole segment to herself where she gets to shine. And we get more character development for her. Like, she's a part of a trio of the village. Yote, her, and... Yearn. It's freaking amazing. Dude, I love this game. Time and time again. It's me. What do you have to say, Fran? 
With Lente's tier, we could pass the barriers of Goldmore Jungle. The Grand Kiltius on Burr Amasis was waits beyond. Our business here is done. She's not lying. It is done. Before moving onward, I would like to dedicate some time to licenses. Let's see what we can get here. I think, because I know what's coming up in the future, it's time. Let's invest in a third final tier weight, uh, quickenings. Uh, Pyroclasm is Bond's final one, and it's what my personal favorite. It's cheaper to do it through here. Actually, it's probably better, actually, if I, uh, maybe Bond won't get it, but it's better to build it through here, because I get some extra battle lore, and I can even get Remedy Lore 3, which is the best Remedy Lore in the game, because I think it should count towards everything else below it. I'm not sure. Well, Remedy Lore 1 is right there, so I can invest in that. Oh, it'll be a while before we get Pyroclasm, but at least it's right there. Well, Fear, I said I wanted to invest in Tier 2 Quickenings. Where's your next one? Element of Treachery. Oh, we're already, we're already there. Um... I guess since I'm literally right there, I guess I was right there with Vaughn too. Just because I want something... I'll give it to you. You can have it. You get it. There we go. Phoenix lore. Potion lore. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is... I think I'm going to get you Heavy Armor 5, because I think we're getting to that point now. Might have been a good idea to do that for Vaughn. It's a lot of HP. What was I... doing here for Fran? Fran, your next quickening is all the way... Oh, it's right down there. I remember now, we're just kind of building our way there. If you can get Swiftness too on the side, sure. You can go a little bit faster now. Haha. -ha. And Bashipu, you can get Katana's 5. I'm kind of jumping around a bit. So you can get yourself your tier 3 quickening. Not everyone's getting it, but at least some of us are. Which is all you can really ask for. Hey, 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 Heavy Armor! 7, yes! I want to invest in heavy armor for Bosch because I want him to be more of a tank and I should be doing that and I, I don't know why I've never done it. Maelstrom's boat. Boat. The boat? No. Bolt. Uh, we'll get you Maces 3. And you can get Mystic Armor 7. And as for you, Penelope Poo. The next quickening. In terms of where it is. I think we'll just, we'll focus on this. You can get Mystic Armor 6, Staves 3, you can finally use that Flame Staff we kind of had there. Mystic Armor 7, Mystic Armor 8, and that's about all we can do for the time being. I'll give you the Flame Staff, so now you have something good. Now you hit as hard as Balthier. Balthier is lacking behind. Let's change that. Oh, we already talked to you. Alright. Let's see the damage. Let's turn in our loot. Ooh. 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 Ooh, look at us. Oh. Oh. Oh! Oh my god! It's amazing! Bam! And we also got some new goods in the bazaar. Uh... Hollow Shaft Arrows contains one Loxley bow and one quiver of Hollow Shaft Arrow. That's a new type of arrow. We only have onion arrows. I think I'll get this, actually. Bamboo arrows. Hold on, I'm gonna grab... Uh, no, I did not mean to turn on the log. Uh, the log can just, if you skip text, you can check on it again. A Loxley bow. Bows for 
49 to 61. That is good. That is good. I can... It'll be a little bit before we can use the bow, but we can get the bamboo el um, arrows, which gives one extra attack power, but also has a chance of landing poison on an enemy, which is pretty good. I'll have to save that bow for later. Alright, uh, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to check on stuff. Storm Spear. Oh, I was going to do the Storm Spear for Balthier. I was going to try to get him something good. Get him up to speed, but guess not. Um, didn't I have a Recursive Crossbow? I swore I did. Uh, Shielded Armor. Nothing new in the defense. I can give Pinello a mage's habit. I think I'll give... I swear I had this stuff. Hold on. Did I or do I not? Oh, it's the Paranai... Oh, Paramina. Okay. Alright, that makes sense. And I don't have the other thing. I don't. Okay. Yeah, it would probably tell me. I'm an idiot. Alright, um... I'll give... Buy an extra shielded armor for Balthier. So he could be up to date. I'll get a Brigande for Fran. That's about it for that. Nothing new here, nothing new here. Horology, Isuna. I'm gonna grab that. And that's about everything I want to grab. Now, do I end things off here? Um, no, no, we're not gonna end things off here. I know where I want to go. We're gonna move a little bit more through the Goldmore jungle now that we have Lente's tier. I would like to get to a specific point, so we're now going to proceed forward and do a little bit more. Um, uh, Gaul. Oh, I remember what lineup we had. We had this as our lineup. There we go. This was our lineup. Bam. Doing it, guys. We're... We're killing them. We're hitting them hard. 19 damage. 19 pounds of video game cards. Looks stupid. Alright, get over here, buddy. Die. Again, I'm not too concerned about missing out on the Storm Spear for Volfear because we're doing pretty good on damage regardless. Like, we weren't having any trouble, but I think we... I really gotta... At least everyone's on the defense front, except for maybe Bosch. We're all doing fine. But at least I got the final clicking for these characters. So, like, now or a good chunk of these characters. Uh, so now I can actually just start investing in all the other stuff. I no longer have to go towards quickening because I can kind of do whatever now. I mainly want to check. Let's see our defense. 26, 26, 20, 18, 21, 18. Poor Bosch. Poor Bosch. Don't worry, Bosch. I'll make sure you're on our priority list. On America's Most Wanted. No. Anyway, with Lente's tier, we can now walk through this. We can proceed forward. And we don't have too much left to where I want to go or get to it at this point in time, so we don't have much left. I mainly just wanted to start making our way towards the, our next destination, which is to Mount Baramasis. Ugh, man. This series is moving very quickly. I would be lying if I said we're not actually moving towards the halfway point, because literally... This next part of the game is the halfway point. Like, after this, we're halfway through the game. So, uh, the, it means the series is halfway over. It could very well be, actually. I mean, we're on episode 30, for goodness sakes. So, we are halfway through. Or about to be halfway through. And we're only 17 hours in. Look at us. Look at us being big children. 
getting far in Final Fantasy XII. We're a bunch of pros. Bunch of pros. Ash is now level 23. Perfect. Just nice. Die, gargoyle. We move her out of the party. I'm gonna switch to both here. So that way we can have fun. Yay. Alright, and this puts us at a teleport crystal. Very, very nice. Very, very, very nice. Nothing over there, but we do have an item over here. What is this? An amber armlet. Um, increases physical dam damage dealt while empty-handed. Very good for like a monk class who, very good, like for like Balthier, for example. Balthier could benefit from this like a lot. Uh, oh, we have some Riera. It is several years now since such as you has begun passing through the wood. Unwelcome. Some sought only to flee their pursuers. Others there were were who brought thought to bring ruin to the wood. This wakened the Mirn. The Mirn a, a deep disquit. Disquiet. No, 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 disc, disquiet. That she should see this and leave the wood surprises me a little. There's another one over there we can't talk to. Well. We saved Mirren. We got her back to Viera Town, as I call it. And we got Lente's Tear, which allowed us to get past the barriers and explore more of the Goldmore dun uh, Dungeon. No, Goldmore Jungle. Not a whole lot more, but still, we're past the point. We're now getting close to the exit. So, so I consider this to be a good stopping place for today. And... Next time on Final Fantasy XII, the Zodiac Age. Oh boy. Do I have something to talk about. See you guys then.